Witcher's coming with your daddy. So you're eating like this. <laughs> you're so happy. You had an almost, what, hour and a half now? Hour and 45 minute now? What do you think? <laughs> Come here, Goofy. Hello and welcome to the vlog. I'm not even sure if this is going to be the start of a video or the middle of a video. Um, but we just got up to Munns Park. I'm up here with my uh, parents right now. And then Elliot will come in two days. He's actually on shift tomorrow. And so he'll come on Thursday. After he gets off work, he'll drive straight up. So we got here a little after three. This one took a nap. We just finished some dinner and we're about to go on our first walk. Huh. Oh. Okay. Okay, go get her. <laughs> so, uh, we're in a little three bedroom cabin up here in Munns Park. So, I have my own room right tonight, and then Ellie will join me. My parents have their own room, and then Remy actually has her own room, which is awesome. So, we set up the baby monitor and the pack and play in there. A um, lot different than our last Mons Park, Mons Park trip where she actually slept in the closet in mine and Elliot's room. So, smaller trip, but um, it's actually a really cute cabin. I'll take you guys on a tour of the cabin in a little bit, but um, perfect. I just set up my work stuff over there so I can work tomorrow morning. But it's about 6.30, and I think it's like 75 degrees maybe right now, maybe 80 degrees. And we're going to go go on a little family walk. just finished up work. Remy is still sleeping right now. I just made a quick snap for myself before we start cooking dinner in a little bit. Um, but first day here went really well. Um, got up pretty early with mom and took a walk and left the monitor with my dad and Remy actually did sleep until about 7.20ish and we were home by 7. I think we got out there by 5.45 and we did just under five miles. We were tracking it on my mom's phone. So we did just under five mile walk this morning and that felt really good. It was like 55, 60 degrees. It was gorgeous. Um, so I'm hoping to get another after dinner walk tonight with Remy, which won't be as strenuous just because she'll be on my back. Um, I think I mentioned before, but Elliot is on shift today down in the valley still and he's gonna drive up tomorrow morning when he gets off work. Um, since I came with my parents, there was only so much we could fit in their car. Uh, so we couldn't fit the stroller, so the stroller's coming tomorrow. So I think we're going a little bit easy because otherwise she's on my back, which it, it's fine. It's a lot better than being on my front. And I was actually surprised that she did that well because the last time I tried to put her on my back, she screamed and fussed and didn't like it at all. So she did really well yesterday. I'm not sure if it was because she could see my mom while we were walking versus like if I go by myself with the dogs. I'm by myself, she only sees the back of my head, but she did really well. Um, so we went on a walk last night, got up early this morning, and um, did a walk. And then I got some work done for a couple hours this morning. Um, 
and she napped so then my mom and I both worked while she napped and then my mom fed her lunch and I got some more work done I got about five hours of work done this morning um, which was awesome and then all of us went together into Flagstaff which is about 25 minutes away we went to the grocery store there to pack and stock the fridge for the week and so came home put her down and I just did a couple more hours of work done with work for today I'll show you guys kind of the stuff that I packed stuff that I bring and just grocery shopping while you're on a trip which is why I feel like now it's almost better to get a VRBO it's almost the same price as getting a, a hotel and you get a full kitchen so some of the things that I packed um, are some supplements I have this stuff was all here but I packed all of my um, vitamins and things like that to keep up on in this little pack here I got it from six pack bags but I really like it because it's um, like nine days worth versus uh, seven we're not really sure how long we're gonna be here yet um, so I packed those I did bring my GI assist because I absolutely highly recommend this if you're like me and it's hard to go to the bathroom when you travel so I did bring that um, I brought my vegan aminos I just put some in my water bottle um, just right now just to add some aminos and then I did pack um, some chocolate protein some vanilla protein um, and then I packed my calm magnesium to take um, before bed and then I did bring some extra of these um, this I have honestly never had to use um, since before pregnancy but this is one of those like emergency I'm having an IBS attack and I bring my Pepa Just with me always just in case um, but now that I use that essential oils I don't even need this to be honest with you um, and then I did bring the Vitex so I started taking this to try to get my period back um, so I brought that I'm only doing one capsule a day um, I'm not sure if I'm going to increase to two or not but definitely have those um, oh and then my little travel scale you guys have seen this before so I have that um, so a couple things that we did bring um, Remy snacks um, I brought my almond butter and then we just stocked the fridge today which is really awesome um, coffee creamers egg whites almond but almond milk um, this is that non-dairy um, cheese that I get from my Kroger it's so much cheaper than Kite Hill this one's not made with almonds it's actually made with butter beans which is kind of crazy but the macros on this are freaking awesome um, picked up some hummus for Elliot and then some lunch meat and cheese for Elliot. I brought up my gluten-free tortillas. I have the Rudy's and the other one that I eat is the Food for Life brown rice tortillas. I brought those up. Um, some more of this. I had some strawberries pre-cut up. A ton of vegetables, different salads, peppers, tomatoes, cucumbers, all that kind of stuff. And then I did bring a dressing. You guys have seen that before um, so that's some stuff was here that's that and then pantry wise I we did bring I brought some of my almonds things for Remy um, I did go to the grocery store today and actually had one of these for lunch and it was really really good um, I really like the packets too because they don't have the water you have to drain so I even take these on planes because they're super easy and convenient and they're like what, 17 grams of protein so like that, um, brought some RX bars. Again, Elliot's coming with a ton more food tomorrow that I packed, um, but we did go grocery shopping. Um, rice cakes, um, veggie straws for Remy. I did pick these up today too, to have with some of the um, cream cheese, some hummus for Elliot. I thought those were pretty good macros, the gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, and then I packed a whole bunch of stuff for Remy, all her food, individual packets. These are those Annie's Cheddar Bunnies, Annie's Graham Bunnies, um, some different cereals for her. And then I actually picked up an Annie's Mac and Cheese to try to see if she would want to try that. I liked it too because it didn't have any artificial colors, no uh, dyes or anything like that either. I don't know if Kraft does, but I just got a single serve and I really like her organic line. Um, and then a bar for Remy there too. Oh, and her oatmeal for breakfast. So that's kind of the rundown. Just hanging out now. I'll probably go sit outside since I finished work and 
then we'll make some dinner. I think we're just gonna do salads and shrimp. We got some shrimp to cook up. Um, yeah, just kinda hanging out. Second morning, finishing our walk. Found walking for about an hour and 20 minutes. It's about 7.15. We started just before six and we're headed home. And Elliot's on his way up today. I need to get back and get Remy. Whew. That's a good hottie. My dad's watching her while she um, was sleeping this morning, so I hope I get back before she wakes up. What you doing in there, pretty girl? Oh, no, no. Yeah. She has a room full of toys, but she wants to be in here. So I'm actually making my oatmeal right now. Um, Remy got up like right as we got back from our walk. So um, my mom has a video call this morning, so she's gonna do that. I'm gonna watch Remy, and then when she gets done, we'll switch um, so I can start some work. Um, I also need to shower. I haven't showered since we've been here, you. But um, yeah, that was about a five and a half mile walk according to Fitbit. Um, oh, that's hot. So I am making a half a cup of oats right now. And you guys have seen how I make my oats. It's no different just because I'm on vacation. Or it's not even vacation. I just came up out of the cooler weather for the cooler weather. So I'm going to prop you guys right here. I'm viewing this as a vacation, but even if it was vacation, I'd be doing the exact same thing. Basically just move my house routine as much as I can to where I travel to. Somebody's doing construction next door too, so it's just wet. So I've got my little food scale. I'm going to put some chia seeds and some protein, almond butter, and oh, strawberries. Pre-sliced strawberries. doing nugget you're being silly I don't know why she always does this she lives on her belly now yesterday I made coffee and uh, for me and my dad my mom doesn't drink coffee and I made it like way too strong he had to like add water to it and then put it in the microwave to water it down I was like so this morning he goes I'm gonna make the coffee understood but I think what I was gonna say was I think people get like really they get into this like, oh, I'm going to be good when I'm at home, but I'm on vacation mode now. And I feel like that's just where you just run into problems. You run into having like a bad relationship with food and you just think, oh, well, I'm just going to blow my diet. And it's like, well, I don't really, I don't like that because it's basically like you're on a diet or you're off a diet. It's just a lifestyle. So for me, it doesn't change anything. I don't, I don't get anxiety anymore about going on vacation. I don't get worried like, oh my God, I'm going to have all these cheat days. I just eat um, and I think when you switch that mentality you're so much more successful not only with if your goal is weight loss but then to sustain and maintain it because it doesn't make sense for you to restrict and restrict and restrict lose all this weight and then go back to you know binging on Cheetos and freaking pizza every day because um, you'll lose your results so along the journey here as you're trying to lose weight as you're trying to lose fat you also learn like the lifestyle it takes to sustain and maintain it so I'm going to eat this and make some coffee. Three. We always go up and down these streets. They do look a lot steeper than this camera is showing. Oh my god. Cool. We're in a Hill. It's 
Street. And you just Tenth Street. And we switch back. I didn't even record that entire clip. So today's Sunday and we just got back from a walk a little bit ago. I just had some breakfast, um, but I slept in today just because I've been getting up at 5.15, 5.30 every day since we've been here. But we got here Tuesday afternoon, it's now Sunday and I haven't actually done a lift or a band workout. So I wanna do some upper body because my lower body is just shot from doing six plus miles a day of just straight hiking and walking. I think I went to bed last night with 23,500 steps, which is like insanity. Um, so I decided I'm going to get a little upper body workout in here, um, inside. There's not a lot of doors that I can really use um, that has enough space. So while Remy's awake, I'm gonna use the door to her bedroom. Um, so she's playing with the red ADO band right now, um, but I did bring like a mat. I brought my ADO bands. They're already hooked into the door here. Um, I've got like my attachments that I'll put on here. Yes, child. Yes. What are you doing? Um, and then I brought some other couple things. I brought like the long loop bands thinking Elliot might want to work out. I did bring my drip fit. Um, I brought some ankle weights, which I probably don't even need to use because my lower body is just exhausted. So I just moved this recliner out of the way and we're gonna use this door. Elliot um, went back to shift, so he left uh, yesterday morning at 4.30, 4.45-ish to drive into work. Um, he called me about an hour ago and said that he was just leaving the station, so he should be here in another hour. And then he actually has a day off. So we're probably gonna stay up here till either Tuesday night or Wednesday night. Um, not really sure yet. We'll just kinda see how everything's going, but little update all right what's going on guys welcome back to another commentary as you can see in this clip I'm already sitting here talking chanting trying to keep Remy busy during this workout but uh, I wanted to give you guys a little rundown on what this workout was today I I put together a three circuit four exercise per circuit workout so it was super quick uh, I think it was about 45 50 minutes or so and this is the first circuit. This was all shoulder based. Um, as you guys saw, I did a shoulder press, single arm shoulder press with an isometric hold in the other arm for about 15 reps. Then I went right into palms up front raises for about 15 reps. I did single arm lateral raises for 15 reps. And then I finished off with the Spider-Man planks, uh, alternating Spider-Man planks. This works the obliques. Um, I think I did about 20 of these. So that was the first circuit, and I know I did that one four times through. So then this is the second circuit, and I went right into these supine lat pulls. Guys, all of these, all this footage is sped up about two times, so I'm going a lot quicker here, but I just wanted to show you guys kind of the reel that is working out with a 10 month old. So I did about 15 of those lap pulls and then I think I did about 12 or so of these plank rows. These were difficult, it was hard. Uh, I felt it in my core and then I also, I double, doubled up on those bands there and I did about 12 reps per side. These are these supine crunches and I absolutely love these. If you guys noticed, I did drop a band for these because I'm really focused on keeping my core nice and tight and not coning. These have been amazing um, since being postpartum. Again, this is sped up, so that was definitely fast. Uh, and then my fourth exercise in this circuit was just some bicep curls to finish out with those baby carrying arms. Now, this is the third circuit and I did all these high anchors, so the band is up attached to the top of the door. These are straight arm lat pull downs. Did about 15. You guys are noticing pattern. I'm doing about 15 to 20 reps um, of each exercise. These are wide grip rows. These are amazing. I love doing these for upper back and rear delts. And then this is another one of my favorites. This overhead tricep push downs. Guys, I feel these so much more than I think I've ever felt um, cable tricep push downs. So and then I finished off this circuit with these alternating V-ups. I think I did this circuit about two, maybe three times. I know I didn't get the full four that I wanted to just because of Remy. And then I think this was the day that Elliot came. Who's that? Yep. Who's that? What are you doing? Who's that? Crazy. Hey. Hey. What is that? What are you doing? 
And Remington found the game cabinet. And we found dominoes, didn't we? We've been entertaining ourselves with dominoes. Yeah?